Hi everyone, my name is Smeri from Senior Medical, our senior design team at UTSA. At Senior Medical, we saw that there's a limitation on how often pregnant mothers are able to go to a doctor's office to check on their baby's health. So because of this, we think that there is a need to continuously monitor a baby's health throughout different stages of pregnancy. After having several discussions and interviewing and surveying OBGYNs, nurses, and pregnant mothers, we came with a list of our customer requirements. So for our customer requirements, the first one is that our device should be comfortable and lightweight because we want it to be portable and wearable. We also want our device to be battery operated and if possible, it should also be rechargeable. We want our device to offer continuous monitoring of the baby's health. And to be able to track the baby's health, we're gonna monitor two parameters. These will be heart rate and contractions. We also want to implement an alert system for our device for situations where the baby could be in distress. So for example, if it enters a tachycardic state or a bradycardic state, or if there's any sign of contractions. So here is the Cinea monitoring system. It is very compact, lightweight, and it includes a clip to be able to clip it onto the pants and wear it comfortably 24 seven. This device is powered by four AA batteries that are rechargeable and are included in a casing unit that has an on and off switch so the device can be powered as needed. The system also includes three foam electrodes to be able to detect the electrical activity of the heart of the baby. The device includes one LED and an LCD screen to display the heart rate readings as well as any contractions that may be detected. So for the electronics of our system, we use the Arduino Uno microcontroller connected to the heart rate sensor AD8232. The electrical signals are picked up from the foam electrodes which are transported through the leads and then go through the heart rate sensor directly into the Arduino Uno. Then the Arduino Uno is connected to the LCD display so we can display the analog readings from the sensor. For the coding, we use the Arduino IDE software and we use the C++ programming language. As of right now, our code is able to extract the ECG signals from the sensor and convert them into heart rate readings, that is into beats per minute, and get a running average from them. So as for work that is still needed for our device, we still need to work on the software as right now we only have the heart rate readings and we need to convert these into contraction events if any and we also need to implement an alert system to be able to let the user know if there's any abnormalities occurring. Once Senior Medical has concluded the design phase, we will enter the testing phase. So some of the tests that we have planned to put our device through include software testing, alarms functional testing, and battery life testing, among many other tests. Thank you for watching our prototype demo.